everybody, Jonathan here with another Vectorworks video and today we're going to kind of start from scratch. I'm going to take you through the process of installing Vectorworks 2023 and all the various things you need to do to take that forward and then we're going to take a look at the wonderful new home screen. Now this is a major new feature of Vectorworks 2023 and I'm sure that you'll absolutely love it like I do once you understand how to use it properly. So let's get started with the video and thanks for watching as ever. We are about to install Vectorworks 2023 and you'll notice a nice new sort of splash screen. I like this new blue graphic here um, and let's just basically sequentially move through this together. So let's get started. We'll click that one. Um, you'll notice that we get the opportunity to put our serial number in, which of course I will basically grey out so that you can't see that. And basically let's just copy and paste from the customer portal into that and when it's uh, available to activate, it will basically give you a next dialog. Okay, so the next step is just to kind of the usual license agreement um, and basically, let's click next. Basically, a few other known issues that you might want to have a look at and scroll through. Um, you know what it's like, I tend to not read every single element of that. Let's click OK. And finally, we've got the uh, location that we can install the program itself. So I'm going to go ahead and install uh, in this particular location and I'll say no, I don't want to participate at this time. I do have another installation um, in this particular location. So let's click OK. So I'm going to put my uh, computer password in, of course, which you can't see. Let's click OK. And that will basically start progressing the installation. So you'll notice it will take a few minutes. It's staying to installing files and there's some progress bar here. Um, it's quite nice. You've got a little bit of information you can have a little look at here. If you do want to, you could click on some of these links, I'm sure, and basically go off to, for example, the Vectorwitz University page and have a look at some of the videos there. I've actually done a few myself. Um, so definitely something that's worth looking at. Now, of course, if you do want Vectorwitz training, um, I offer this on my YouTube channel. But we also offer this sort of bespoke personal training, one-to-one -one, or small group training for different practices as well. So if you're interested in that, just go to Jonathan Reeves CAD and basically you'll see my website where you can basically click on to training and you'll see all the different types of training that we offer. And the great thing is we've got like 20 years experience as architects and we really love teaching. So it's something they're very, very passionate about. And a lot of people find that the online teaching is pretty unbeatable in that we can record the session for you and break it down into nice two or three hour sessions. So everything's on here. You can even book online, although drop me an email is the best way uh, just for up to date sort of sessions. Okay, good. So let's click back onto our installer. Let's see how we're doing. So we're nearly there. Um, we'll come back in a moment when this is done and we'll take our first look at Vectorworks 2023 and the new home screen. Uh, we've got the new Vectorworks 2023 installed. And the very first thing you're going to notice is the really lovely new home screen that introduces Vectorworks when it starts up. Now this is something that can be disabled if you want to in your preferences, uh, but I really like it and I just want to kind of spend a few moments showing you around. So the first thing you notice is you've got access to basically loads of different files. So all the different recent files that you've been working on. Uh, for example, let's just open up this one. You can see uh, this was a project I worked on many years ago for a great big master planning project and it was a really, really big project. Now, the reason I just want to show you this one quickly is because it's absolutely huge, this file, but look at the speed at which we can kind of navigate around. And this is with uh, shadows on and ambient occlusion on as well, which does tend to slow it down a bit. So you're going to notice that the navigation is extremely fast and that's a really big model that Vector was 2020 is handling really, really well. Okay, so if you just want to pop the home screen back up, then all you need to do is pop up to the menu bar and click onto the home screen to bring it back again. Okay, great. So you can see the most recent file that I was working on there. Uh, let's just open a couple of other files and so on. Let's just click on to this one here. Again, let's click onto this one. You can see very easy to preview the file and just sort of open those up as a little viewport there. So let's just click update on this one. And you'll notice again, the updating of the viewports in 2023 is super quick. So depending on what computer you've got, I think you'll find a big, big speed improvement in 2023. And things like section viewports are up to six times faster now. Okay, great. So let's just pop the home screen up one more time. Um, a couple of other things I want to talk about here. We've obviously got the list view 
and the icon view. Now over on this side you're going to see a little kind of what's new page and basically you're going to see some sort of really nice little kind of new features uh, for Vector 2023 that have been kind of highlighted here. Uh, if you've seen my channel you'll notice I've, I've made a few videos on some of these and I'll be making a lot more later but if you do want to you can click onto that particular video and that'll open up uh, the Vector University page as you can see with information about that particular topic. So nice little video there that you can watch just on Graphic Legends. And basically, the new graphic legend there we go. And um, there are also some sample files here. So if you do want to, you can kind of click onto those and sort of download a bunch of different sample files, see how some of the projects have been done. Um, there's some really big projects and some smaller ones as well. But depending on what industry you're in, you'll definitely find something there that's interesting that you can download and have a little play around with and just see how Vectorworks have organized their projects and so on as well. So that's really cool. Okay, let's go back to our home screen and the second tab, of course, is the learning tab where we just talked about the Vectorworks University, some of the new features and other things as well. Now, do remember that I provide professional teaching and training one-on-one -on -one or small group training for practices and it's very bespoke and tuned into how you work and the kind of projects you do. So reach out to me if you would like to find out more about that and I would love to talk to you and show you what we can do to help. Excellent, so as well as that, we can link on to the cloud services. Um, there's lots of interesting information about what you can do with the cloud services. And I've done a webinar on this recently. Um, so again, on my channel, if you have a look at that, but if I basically want to, I can access all my files directly on the cloud. So this is linking on to my cloud and here you can see some of these files, including this wonderful Woodworth project uh, as a VGX file. So this is great because I can share these with clients and we can view them on uh, iPads and phones and all sorts of things as well. Okay, great. So let's just pop back to the home screen one more time. And finally, we've got the message center. Okay, so in here, you're gonna find all sorts of messages about Vectorworks and we'll go to our home screen. If you just wanna open a blank file, of course, you just click new and this will give you access to all of your default templates. I've just got my default one in there at the moment and we'll open up and off we go. We can start working away. So just before we finish the video, I really wanted just to touch on one other very uh, exciting thing that you may not have seen. And basically it's the future roadmap of Vectorworks. And this is really great. Um, in the past, uh, Vectorworks have been sort of fairly uh, keeping their cards quite close to their chest, as many companies have. But now uh, they're much more open about what's in development and scheduled for release. So take a look at the Vectorworks website. If you just search for the roadmap, um, you'll come up with this page here. Now what you can see is a list of all the features that are basically uh, either in development or have been released already. Now, if we go to in development, you'll see some pretty exciting plugins coming for A, X, Y, Z people. And uh, this is something that I know Twinmotion have done, looks really cool. Dark mode for Windows, that's a popular one. And things like direct editing of parametric objects as well. So that's really cool. So have a look at the list. Uh, there's some really good suggestions. And what's really nice about these is you can actually vote them. Um, so you can basically say whether they're nice, important, critical, put your votes in, put a few comments in. And honestly, Vectorworks really do listen. They're a fantastic company at taking on board what their users um, input, basically. And, you know, I think it's really important to have your say. So this is something I'd absolutely encourage you to do. In fact, I was watching the design uh, day down in London today. Sadly, I couldn't get there because of the train strikes. And they said exactly this. They showed the roadmap and they said how much they value uh, users interacting with them and giving them feedback on what features they would like to see. So if you would like to go on here, that would be something that I would really recommend. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, look at this, Enscape connection for Mac. That's definitely one I'll be voting for. So if we go to uh, new release, now you can actually see some of the features that have come in the Vectorworks 2023 release, which is really, really useful. And you can see them all piling up at the new features or what they call enhancements as well. Now, if you do want to, you can also close that down. And of course, if you're upgrading from older versions, you can also see what's up in the previous releases as well. So say you're coming from Vectorworks 20, look how many pages of new features you've got to absorb. So it's a great way just to see what the new features are, what you might be missing out on. If you are thinking of upgrading, of course, please contact me and let me know. I'll be very pleased to help with any advice 
talk about the new features and of course give you a fantastic deal as well. So really, really nice, the new roadmap from VetDoworks, definitely something that I would recommend you taking a look at. As I say, you can filter it by different sort of disciplines as well. So let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching so much. It's been a pleasure to see you in this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.